Hi everybody, Physics Ninja here. Today we got a very special video for you. We're gonna show you the top 10 favorite Physics Ninja toys. Now with the holiday season coming upon us, I know parents everywhere are looking for that special Xbox or the new PlayStation. Forget about that stuff. You wanna see a smile on a child's face Christmas morning when they open up one of these physics toys. Today I also have my assistant here, Anderson. My son Anderson's gonna help us demonstrate how all these toys work. Are you excited about making this video with me? Kind of. All right. So anyway, let's get started. We're gonna go through my 10 favorite physics toys. All right, so our first toy is the magnetic levitator. And here we have it here. Comes in this nice kind of cool little box. All right, go ahead and show us how what it does, Andy. There you go, have a look, oh, just one second here. Let's get a picture of that. Look at that thing. It's levitating kind of above that platform. All right, what else does it do, Andy? What can you do with it? Pressure. It's so hard. <laughs> Let's go give it a good little spin. There you go, oh, you can spin it there. And it spins for quite a long time. There's a little bit of friction there between a small bearing and the glass, but it works pretty well. Is that pretty cool, Andy? Well, I've never knew that could do that, and yes, it is very cool. Let, me, let Dad try. Give it a faster spin. Whoa, once you get really good at it. Yeah, I see what you can do, spin it nice and fast. You usually need two magnets to connect something. Very Let's cool, it's got a bit of a wobble. Still learning how to use this one, but oh, super cool. Does it not fall? I know, that's physics. All right, our next toy is called the Rattleback. All right, Andy, show us what the Rattleback does. All right, so you spin it in one direction. Boring. And it's kind of boring, right? It's it just kind physics. of spins. It's not, this is not physics. It's not super cool. It's not physics. Though. Okay, now what happens if you spin in the opposite direction? Oh, that's pretty cool. How, how did Let's it... try another one. That's... Oh, that one's not that interesting. What if I spin this one this way? Very, very cool. So you spin in one direction, it doesn't do anything. You spin in the opposite direction, it rattles, and then it switches directions. Super cool. Yes. So my friend Brian actually made one for me. It's giant, first of all, compared to one of the small ones you can buy off Amazon. This one you can't buy, you actually gotta make it, but he did a really, really good job. So let's demonstrate the rattleback. Okay, so that's the side, you just spin it, and it just slows down until, that's it, it stops. Then you spin it the other way, what happens? Oh, it starts to rattle, and it switches directions. Super cool. All right, what do we have here? Let's have a look at these two. The eagle bouncer thing. Oh, we've got balancing birds. Kind of great little balancing toys, right? You just, they come uh, with a bird, and then they also come with this one has a, pyramid. a little bit of a stand here, right? And you could just, Why is this one a pyramid? I place the bird right there, look at that. And it's kind of fun just to make them rotate a little bit. Wow, look at that one, super fast. Doesn't fall off somewhere. Very cool. Andy loves these two little birds. Sometimes you find them all over the house, kind of balancing on random objects, corners of tables. I did that once I did Yeah. A great problem dealing with center of mass How and equilibrium. Go? How does it go so fast and not fall? Amazing. It's Physics! It's been it awesome. So much fun. All right, our next toy here is uh, the Miroscope. Uh, the Miroscope comes with kind of uh, two mirrors, right? two parabolic mirrors. One, one of them here has a hole in it, and we'll see what we do with that. It also comes with this tiny little frog right here. And what you do is you put the frog kind of right in the middle of that dish like this, and then you place the lid on it, and have a look. Now, it's, if you just position just right, Oh, you should be able to see the frog here. All right, and then you try to touch it. Remember you pranked us with this and said we got a frog, but then when I touched it, it wasn't real. Look at you try to touch it. You, you can't, you can't touch it. Really, really bugs you. The cool thing about it is although my finger can't touch it, all right, my finger can't touch it. Try to touch it. Watch what happens here when I shine the light at it. I can shine a laser light. You can see that the laser is able to hit the surface. At least it looks like it, doesn't it? 
right? But your finger can't touch it. Well, that is pretty darn cool. Now you gotta see the angle just right, but this little illusion here is one of the super cool physics toys you can get. And you can put anything you want down there, right? Uh, you can take a coin, and take a coin, put the coin down. Oh, there you go. You got a little bit of money right there. Oh, let me grab that. Oh, nothing. <laughs> How is this on it, though? Can Just... you shine the light on it? Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's <laughs> right there, doesn't it? But there's no light. <laughs> yeah, this guy is super cool. I love this little toy. This toy here is something called the... Euler? Euler disc? <laughs> Euler disc? I don't, I don't know how it's you pronounce e it. U-L-E-R. Yeah, some people, I've heard it being pronounced Euler. Some people would say Euler. Euler. Yeah, it and really it doesn't matter. E. <laughs> All right, let's go show them what it does. Can you hold this? All right, it's just kind of a big metal disc. It also comes with this platform. Um, the platform has a little bit of curvature to it, but it also has a few different options. It has some different uh, kind of magnetic things you can put on it. You don't have to put them on there. Uh, they work without it and all you got to do is you just put the disc there and you spin it let's watch it it'll keep going for a really 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 long time <laughs> what the heck <laughs> how is it not stopping it is very very slowly though how did it start this is going to be a long video. <laughs> this one you think it's done. It's like, nope, not quite done. <laughs> We're going to be here for until I'm 10. It looks slow on the camera. <laughs> oh, it's because it's not recording. Very, very cool. How, that How do you start it? Huh? How do you start it? Oh, to start it, you just gotta give it a little spin. Just keep it on an angle like this. Just give it a little spin. I try? Yeah. Just give it a little spin. I don't want it to just break. Just give it a little spin. Don't just spin it. What if just it give falls? It, just give it a spin. There you go. How does it not fall? <laughs> it does fall. It's just, there you go. I feel like it's going to break. <laughs> I feel like it's going to break. Well, That's why I'm so scared. Yeah. Here, we can pull one of the other ones off. It's like it's going to break or something. I feel like it's going to break know, and I feel so scared. Heavy. Like this is so heavy and this is just like cheap plastic. But Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared it's going to like break it or something. That's so cool. See? Pretty cool. You know, you can speed up the process too. You put your finger. Oh, <laughs> Try that. Try that. That's so satisfying. satisfying. Yeah. Just press on it gently. You'll see. Right in the middle. Push down on it. Yeah. You need to put that in the video. That's so satisfying. <laughs> Our next toy is a wobble toy. This one is for just the little guys, you know? You've got just <laughs> someone who's like a one-year-old. You want to start them early on their physics education? Get them a wobble fox toy. Let's have a look at it. Back up. It's a great lesson in equilibrium. Position of the center of mass. I started from the ground and it came Look at it. Oh, then it gets into some very complicated motion that even kids will enjoy. I'm 43 and I kind of like the motion of this little fox. Look at that, you kind of, time for bed, little fox. Nope, it's not nope. a party. <laughs> Ouch. Let's look at him go. Very cool. A lot of these toys, you notice they it's have like a lot bed. of rotational motion, right? A lot of these toys involve rotational motion, right? Rotation is kind of a cool thing. Come here, Fox. Look at the camera, Foxy. Mm. There you go. Nice. It slips away now. Whoa. Hey, don't hit the camera, dude. Don't hit the camera, dude. 
so close. Ouch! Oh my god, you're gonna break the lens! Oh my god, I just hit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next one's pretty simple. It's more of a, like a trick. Um, trick basically, mode. just a little chain here, a bead chain, uh, connected. And what else? Then we have a ring. Ring. Some right. ring. Rings maybe a couple inches in diameter. And but the cool thing is, if you set it up just right, and you've studied carefully. You can kind of combine what looks like magic and physics all together. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and every now and then if you don't that practice. Looks like a fail. If you don't practice enough, it doesn't work. But if you do. It's gonna haunt you. Ah, ah. It even made the camera <laughs> fall because it was too amazed. Pretty cool. Cool little trick. Anyway. So our next toy is this little top here. Uh, something we call the uh, tippy top. Uh, tippy top is kind of a nice toy and it looks like a, just a regular top uh, But its name should give you a little indication of what it does uh, We've got a bigger one here. My friend Brian made me one here out of wood. This one also is pretty cool um, Lots of YouTube videos could show you how to make these kind of a cool project All right, so let's try to get it out. It's a little tricky to get and there's not a lot of space here You got to spin it just right, but if you do Oh, that one's not gonna work Oh, don't hit the side. Oh, there it is. There it oh, is. Very I've cool. I've never done that. Yes. Very, very cool. Oh, that one's good. Nice. Wow, I've pretty good. I've never done that before. That's good. Very, very cool. The little tippy top, man. All right, our next one is a gyroscope. Uh, this one here comes in a two pack. Uh, we've got a spare one here on the outside. So this one's kind of cool. Surely, surely you've seen something similar to this one here. Want to hold this? Sure. All right, pull on the string. Give it a good spin. And once it's spinning, right, you can put it, put it on an angle like this. Watch this. Feel that? It doesn't fall. It stays there. That's it. Very cool. Can I stop it? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. All right, for this one, we are going to attempt a special little trick with the gyroscope. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it to you once I'm done spinning, so you gotta hurry up, okay? All right, you hold it tight. Hurry, 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 that's it. There it is. Yeah. Oh, good job. I'm we sorry. Okay, go, go, go again. Go again. Yes. Yes. Good job. <laughs> All right. Our physics toy here is called the plasma ball. All right. You want to turn it on, Andy? Just power it up and have a look at it. It's so cool. Oh, put it on. Yeah. There's kind of two settings. There's one setting that is for music, so it'll kind of go to the, the, the beat. Or you could just kind of keep it on. And what's really fun is if you put your finger up against it. Ouch, I feel like... Yeah, sometimes you could feel a little bit. Let's see. Very, very cool. Oh, you got a little shock? Yeah. Oh, I could feel the electricity, actually. There it is. Very cool. <laughs> Shocked again. <laughs> I can kind of feel it out here. So it's getting cold over. It's a little dry, so you could get a little shock. <laughs> Why is this thing going to me so much? Yeah, I can feel it. I'm gonna get shocked again. <laughs> I'm gonna get shocked again. Oh, yeah. do you also, hear that? Well, it's also, yeah, when there's a little dusty on it. Oh my gosh, so cool. So cool. All right, what I really like about this one, Andy, you wanna grab uh, one of the bulbs? All right, what the cool thing about it is if you take just one of these bulbs we have, uh, this one, oh, can you get the other one, the tube one? This is also cool. So if we're just gonna play around with it, all right, hit the lights now, watch. We'll put these kind of close to it. Close to the plasma ball and you can see it. Uh, just it's able to kind of light it up. 
Oh, cool. Go ahead and make sure you don't smash it, right? Because glass against glass. Good job. All right, let me try this one. Bring that light closer. Very, very cool. Bring it up a little bit. Light. I like the blue one the best. Very, very cool. Just to bring it up a little bit. It also works with a giant <laughs> fluorescent light. And you can see. Very, very wow, cool. Very, very cool. Make it shorted over here. It's my place on my hand. Just light up, say, this middle section. Make it a little bit longer. Very, very cool. The plasma ball is super cool.